here we have the free me pump as well as the free me cups um, you'll notice I have two pairs of these cups this is actually the older version of the cups and these are the newer ones that came with this pump now um, I will go over the differences between there but I between these two but I want to start here with the actual pump itself I actually really like this pump um, one well the main reason is it allows me to be pretty mobile um, it allows me to recharge it so I don't have to worry about getting batteries for it because I know I've got a, a battery adapter for my Medela um, but I was I, and I was using that but it's very clunky to carry around even with the battery pack um, even in it you know having the battery pack allowed me to move about the house but it still meant that I had to carry around not only the Medela pump in a bag but also the battery pack so it wasn't the most convenient way to go about being mobile while pumping this one actually has done the trick um, and I'll tell you why as far as suction and speed go for a cordless pump this one is great I've tried some of the low-cost alternatives that are available on Amazon and I really wasn't impressed with the suction and I did find that over time they tended to lose suction and I'm guessing that had to do with the motors just wearing out and this one actually I've had it for about um, five months now and I use it pretty regularly at least daily if not more um, and it, so far it hasn't seemed to lose any of the suction and it does get the job done now it doesn't have as much suction as one of the like spectra or medela that plugs into the wall and I think that's just because you tend to get more power when you're plugged into the wall simple as that um, so how this works is it's got the little power button here and it's got the little indicator as far as where you're at with your battery so you can be well aware if your battery's getting low and you need to charge it it also gives you a couple of options to choose from for suction and speed you can turn those up or turn those down as as far as like what you're most comfortable with and what works best for you if you turn the speed all the way down you'll notice this little turbo light lit up there and I believe that that's pretty similar to like a letdown mode in some of the other pumps um, the other thing I really like is if you have a setting that you come to that you do like, like if you start out with one and then you move to a different one and then you move to a different one to finish, it allows you to save those settings by pressing and holding these buttons here. And then you can easily revisit them without even really having to look at your pump. If you flip it over, it's got this little clip here that allows you to clip it onto your waistband of your jeans and very easily carry it around. The whole thing isn't terribly heavy. If you're wearing like, um, you know, some sweatpants or leggings, it's gonna pull a little bit at them, but I haven't had any problems of it actually like pulling too much. Um, so what, the, what this actually comes with is it comes with the pump, it comes with the tubing, and it comes with the charger, the charging cord. It also comes with a set of the cups. Now, um, you'll see that I have two sets here. This is the set that comes with the, with the current pump. I'm gonna turn that off. And this set is the newer set. And I also have the older set to compare it to. Um, I'm gonna start by showing you the tubing. You'll notice that there's one tube that comes out here. It's nice because you can use this one tube here if you want to do like one side at a time especially if you're feeding baby on the other side and you want to only pump on one side. So that's a handy um, way to flex. And then if you want to do just the standard pumping, I usually tie mine up in a knot so they're not swinging by like my knees or anything because these are pretty long so that allows you some flexibility. You'll notice that there's a splitter here that splits from the one that comes out of the, out of the pump into the two tubes that go into the cups themselves okay now I have heard of people um, modifying this in different ways to use it with different cups and flanges so don't think that this is the only way to do it this is the, just the way that came in the box if you will okay so one of the main problems that it's not very apparent right this second and it's really the only issue that I have with this pump is the fact that this these are milky white in color. Now, 
I'm actually surprised that they didn't make the change when they upgraded to the newer ones because you'll notice that they're similar in color. And this one is probably a little bit more milky white because I use these a lot. In fact, I use these um, on my way to work every single day when I was pregnant or at, right after I had my son. So these got a lot of use out of them um, and I really do like these. But the problem is, is you can't tell just by looking down how much milk you have and how far you've come and you know, some women will gauge when to stop as far as how much milk they have. So it's kind of hard to tell where you're at in the pumping process. Okay, so a couple of things to show you on this. You'll notice that, that this comes with the 25 millimeter flange that hasn't changed. The old one did too. Um, it's got these little grippers there to pull the cup out. Sometimes it is kind of difficult, but they put this little tab there, if you can see that, to get a good grip on it. But I will admit that sometimes it is kind of difficult to get that out. Okay, so you'll see too on this side, it does give you some measurements for when it's sitting flat. Um, it also gives you some measurements for when it is upright. So basically what you would be looking at if it were, if you were wearing it like this. Um, I don't really rely on the measurements. Um, as far as I could tell, they're accurate. So I don't know, maybe that would be something that somebody else would get more use out of. So I'm gonna pop this open because I wanna show you the different components. So it's got the cup here and that's where the milk is gonna be stored. And I know a lot of people are asking because there's not really, there's not a rubber um, stopper or anything around this side rim. So a lot of people might wonder, well, is your milk going to spill out the bottom? The answer is no. I've actually never had milk spill out the bottom. I've had milk spill out the top, meaning this little hole here, because I would like bend over too far picking something up or pull, putting my son or daughter in, in a car seat or something like that. Um, so you do have to watch how far you bend over because this is open. Um, but as far as coming out the bottom, no. As long as you hear that snap, it's sealed. So you're not gonna end up with spilt milk. Now this is kind of hard to see and I'm by a window here so I'm trying to show you. There's an arrow here that indicates where this needs to line up with the hole, okay? And it's one of my, thi one of my things with this is it's really difficult to see that. So I've actually been debating just going over that with making a little mark there with a permanent marker. Okay, so if I pop this open, it's got a couple of different things to look at here. It's got this little like air bladder thing. And this is what actually creates the, the pressure, the suction. So let me demonstrate. This little hole, there's two holes here in, in the new version of the Free Me Cup. There's the hole, hole to pour it out of, and there's the hole for the tubing. And you just shove the tubing in there. And when that sucks through the tubing, this contracts. And that's what creates the suction within the cup itself. It may not seem like it's going to create enough suction, but trust me, it does. Okay, so the other thing is, is it's got a little valve here and you can pull that off easily to clean it and replace it. The little duckbill valves, sometimes these wear out so you might have to replace it. And the replacements are very easily found on Amazon. You can get I've bought um, Freemie brand ones and I've also bought off brand ones and they've both worked just fine. Now, when putting it together, one of the things that um, I made the mistake about is, you know, it, it looks like it's supposed to go like this, where you put this in the little cup thing there and then you put this on there and line it up and then, you know, give it a good squeeze. However, that actually does not create the suction. And I looked this up because it was making me really mad that I couldn't figure it out. You need to take this little flexible bladder thing and put it on there first. So you need to like get it around that little outline rim there. So you need to put that on there first and then put this little mechanism on there. And then you just press down. It doesn't click into place, it just presses down. And then you need to find the arrow again, the little small impossible to see arrow, and then squeeze and pop it into place and you're ready to go. So you can, you can go ahead and place this however you want to, as long as it's upright, and then put your tubing in. And you know, they say this is discreet, they market this as discreet. However, um, I have, you know, I'm pretty average size and it is 
extremely obvious when I'm wearing these. So I suppose if you had next to nothing, it might not be as obvious, but just the shape doesn't really mimic the natural shape of a breast. So I don't know, discreet, not so much. Okay, so these are the older version, and actually the older version still works with the pump because you would just stick the tubing right in where you would stick the tubing with the older version. And I'll show you what's different. The older version doesn't have a bladder in there. It's only got just the open part here. And actually it does create just as much suction because basically you're sticking the tube into that little tube there. And then the suction goes directly on where your breast would go. And this is one of the replaceable duck bills. Um, one thing about these duck bills is when you put them on, make sure that they are flat this way and not like this way. Because if they are this way, it tends to hit right here on the side of the cup. And then you are gonna end up losing suction there and it won't suck. So just a little troubleshooting there. All right. So that's the main difference. And the, the thing about this is, um, I think why they made that change to that um, little uh, air bladder was because this, if you were bending over or you know reclining even slightly, it would suck fluid up into the tubing and into the pump. So they fixed that by making that little flexible barrier there. Now, obviously I haven't used these in a while, so um, I prefer the new ones just because there's less room for error. Um, anyway, when you're done pumping, they make it really easy. There's a little opening here that you can see pretty well at this angle. And all you have to do is you just have to find your, you know, whatever container, either a bottle or a bag, and you just tip it in there and you're done. Now the cleaning is a little bit more complicated, but not so much more complicated than any other pumping parts. And I just use, for the duckbill and some of the smaller areas, I use one of these um, munchkin brush things that you can find. Um, I know I picked this up at Target. Um, you can also find them on Amazon. They come in sets of three in varying different sizes. These are also handy for a lot of the other different um, mechanisms that you tend to use with bottle feeding and breastfeeding. I also use just a simple bottle brush. Um, this is also kind of handy for getting in the nooks and crannies. Um, these things tend to, you know, over time, every once in a while, they need like a really, really good scrub or even a boil because the plastic does tend to get a little bit of a film on it. Um, and that's just due to the fact that um, breast milk has a pretty high fat and sugar content. So it's just better to have, you know, every once in a while give these like more of a scrub than you normally would give. All right, that's my opinion on the Free Me Pump. I hope this has been helpful, but if you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment down below and I'd be happy to help. Thank you so much.